Good love drive you to fly. This is the story of Rube Baker, a boring young man. He wakes up every day at the same time, wears the same clothes, and eats nothing but the most bland of meals. In fact, Rube would be the most boring person who ever existed if it wasn't for one small problem. Would you take it all and throw it all away? Take me down to the you see, whenever decision, Rube becomes emotional about something, and the world will break people around him today. die. Take me down to the final decision and the world will break apart today. Rube, did you finish sorting the irregularities for the Demby file yet? Yeah, they're right here. You mean you haven't filed them yet? I was about to. <sighs> Give them to me. Jeez, Rube, get your head out of the clouds. Even Rube's job was as boring as a job could possibly be. In fact, Rube would have been successful in showing no interest or emotion at all if it wasn't for one problem. Lily Van Berg had been the object of Rube's desire since she began working there almost two years ago. Unfortunately, being emotionally withdrawn left Rube painfully shy. As a result, Lily had no idea who Rube was or that he even existed, but that didn't stop Rube from pining over her anyways. Occasionally, with disastrous results. Baker, get your skinny white keister in here. Y yes, sir. Rube didn't care much for Osman, and, in fact, preferred his previous employer. So, Rube, everything looks to be in order, and despite a lack of experience, you seem to be qualified. So, on behalf of Data Tech, Welcome to the team. Thanks so much, sir. You won't regret it. <laughs> I'm sure that I won't. Now, I'm just going to fax your information here off to uh, head office, and you'll be good to go. Who, unfortunately due to Rube's enthusiasm of obtaining his first job, was forced to leave the company rather quickly. This is Derek. He's new here. I want you to show him the ropes. But, sir, I... Don't care. I want you to do this now. Once you're done, get back to work. Oh, and another thing. We're running short on cubicles, so you two are going to have to share one. Come on. What Rube didn't know is that Derek was also special. In that, whenever he became emotional, good things would happen to him. As a result, he was almost always happy, and good things were almost always happening to him. Once you have the proper forms, you just want to take them to, uh... So what's a female status around here? Pardon me? You know, chicks, dames, babes, girls, Rube. What's with the girls? Well, there are some girls here. Say, so who's that? Oh, that's Lily. I think she has a boyfriend. That boyfriend schmoyfriend. Nobody can resist the charms of the D-man. All I gotta do is find out her angle, and I'll be eating out of the pond in my hand. Well, it looks like a cubicle just opened up. So I'm up to 190. 190? Weights, Rube. If there's one thing the chicks dig, it's the guns. I've been working on them for a couple of years now, and let me tell you, it drives the women crazy. If you say so. I'll take you with me sometime, put some meat on you. Maybe. So what do you think? About what? Lily, think I got a chance? I don't think Data Tech approves of inter-office relationships. Minor detail. Lunch is over, we should get back to work.
That night, Rube lay awake worrying about his new co-worker and his intentions towards Lily. It was then and there that Rube decided tomorrow would finally be the day that he told Lily how he felt, a prospect that filled Rube with dread, which was unfortunate for his upstairs neighbor who chose that very moment to adjust his satellite dish. That morning, Rube could hardly work with the looming thought of confronting Lily before Derek could, until... Hey dude, check it out. This morning I was getting ready, I was all worried. I couldn't figure out an angle to pick up that Lily chick with. But then the phone rang, and some radio dude told me I won tickets to some show called Dogs or something. Cats. Oh yeah! <laughs> awesome, eh? And with that, Rube was given all the motivation he needed to finally talk to Lily. Um, excuse me, Lily? Yes? I, uh, well, I was just... I'm uh, sorry, do I know you? I'm Rube. I've worked here for four years. That's funny, I don't think I've ever seen you before. I work in data and flow research. Huh. I did the company-wide presentation on data corruption. Not ringing any bells. Oh. Okay, well, I was just wondering if, uh, if you're yep. not too busy, would you like to go to dinner with me tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, Red. Rube. Right. Derek asked me to some theater thing this morning. Oh. Despite his best efforts, Rube couldn't contain his disappointment. It was at that exact moment that a rare birth defect that had gone unnoticed for so many years caused the left ventricle in the young Lily's heart to rupture, killing her, quite literally, of a broken heart. This is terrible! You don't understand! Who am I supposed to take to fish? Cats. Whatever! I'll go with you. Oh, okay. Are you okay? I think so. I think he actually straightened some teeth. Hmm. Rube decided that he could no longer live in a world without Lily. And, having been indirectly the direct result of her death, the world was likely better off without him. Rube decided that the best way to take himself out of the world was to do so by throwing himself from the tallest bridge available. But just as he was about to plummet himself to the earth... Um, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I, I just wondered if I could go first. I don't think I could go through with this if I see you do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Ruby. You're Rube, right? Yeah. How did you know that? Well, we've worked at Data Tech together for the last three years. But you probably never noticed me. Nobody ever does. Yeah. Ruby, right? Of course. You have no idea who I am, do you? No. Sorry. What are you doing up here? Well, I have a problem. You see, whenever I get emotional about something, Someone around me gets hurt. I can relate. No, really, somebody actually gets hurt. I know. Me too. Really? Having found someone who finally understood his problem, Rube and Ruby spent the rest of the day talking on the bridge. Let's get off this bridge, huh? Okay. And, for the first time in both of their lives, they allowed themselves to truly fall in love and live happily ever after. <sighs> or not. And would it be a crazy question?
Would you take it all and throw it all away? Take me down to the final decision And the world will break apart today Take me down to the final decision and the world